Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com and welcome to your first PHP tutorial on the Technical Cafe channel. So in this video we're going to start talking about what PHP is, how we can go about setting up our computers to run the PHP that we write, uh, and we're also going to talk about the text editor that we're going to be using. So let's start off with what PHP actually is. Um, you can see it right here on the page. PHP is a popular general purpose scripting language that is especially suited to web development. And a lot of uh, websites, some popular websites that you might use every day, are actually uh, running on PHP in the back end. So PHP is what's known as a server-side scripting language, and what that means is that it can't just run in your browser. So let's say you write some PHP code and you try to, you know, you launch Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or something, and you try to display that code. Uh, what's going to happen is the code isn't going to display properly, if at all, uh, and that's because PHP actually requires uh, a server uh, with PHP installed on it to interpret and then display what you wrote in your code. So languages like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, those are all what are called client-side languages, uh, which can just run in the browser alone. They don't need server uh, servers running um, to interpret what they're what we wrote uh, in those languages. So in order to do that, um, what you're going to have to do is install a development environment such as uh, MAMP or MAMP Pro, uh, and these offer things like Apache, which is the server, uh, MySQL, which is the database. Uh, and you can also use, uh, in addition to PHP, Python, Perl, um, and a couple of other things as well. So MAMP is what I'm going to be using in these videos. I'm using the free version. I don't think for these uh, or for many applications, we're going to need to download the MAMP Pro version unless you're uh, getting a little bit more heavily into PHP and serious web development. Uh, and then there's also another option too, which is called XAMP. And this is similar to MAMP in that it runs Apache, uh, gives you the option to write PHP or Perl. Uh, however, MAMP does offer Python as well. Uh, and the main difference here is that XAMP is using MariaDB instead of uh, MySQL. For our purposes, the differences are, are pretty slight, I would say. So uh, feel free to download whichever one you're comfortable with and uh, whichever one that, that you think would be best for you. If you want to go completely rogue, however, you can go over here to php.net. Uh, you can download PHP. You can go and download an Apache server and set up everything manually. Uh, if you do do that, I would recommend you download MySQL as well. Uh, just in case we um, talk about databases or in case you want to work with the database on your own. So uh, now that we know what we need to start writing our PHP code, um, let's talk about what we're going to actually write the text in. And uh, for this tutorial series, I think we're going to use Atom. Uh, it's a text editor that I found and that I really like. Uh, it's actually made by the folks over at GitHub, and it's free and hackable, and, and you can you know download all these customizations and plugins and things like that. Um, so uh, yeah, this is what we're going to be using for this. So once you've downloaded MAMP or XAMP, uh, in this case I'm going to show you what MAMP looks like, uh, and you run it, you're going to see a window that looks like this. And this is basically how you're going to manage uh, your server or en environment configuration and then start it up so that you can start writing PHP. Uh, just because you downloaded XAMP or MAMP doesn't mean that your PHP code that you write is going to run right off the bat. You actually have to start the server and run the code on the server. So uh, there are some preference options here. Um, a lot of them you you probably don't have to change. I uh, in my case I'm just using PHP 7.0.15 here. Uh, you can use the latest version if you'd like. Entirely up to you. So uh, once you're ready to start writing your PHP code, all you have to do is hit Start Servers. Uh, it might take a few seconds to start up the servers and get it running, and you'll actually know uh, once that's done by uh, seeing over here whether it's checked off. So uh, give it a few seconds. It's launched uh, the welcome message saying that MAMP has been installed successfully and uh, gives you some information as to what you can do with it. Uh, if we come back over to MAMP, you'll notice that we have our servers running. Uh, we can open the web start page, which is uh, right here in the background, uh, and then you can also stop the servers if you'd like to. So let's just get this out of the way. So now that we have that kind of stuff set up, let's jump over here to Atom, which is our text editor. Uh, and you'll notice that when you start it up, you'll get some, you know, information about the browser, things like that. Uh, and we can just kind of get rid of that and go over here and go File, New File. And what we're going to do is start writing our first PHP file. Uh, in this tutorial, we're just going to talk about the shell of it. We'll start writing some PHP, actual PHP code uh, in the next tutorial. So every PHP file that you're going to write is going to start with the same thing. It's going to go uh, left bracket question mark. PHP, and this is just going to let uh, let the interpreter on the server know that you are actually using PHP code, and then you're going to end your file with a question mark and a right triangle bracket. 
So any PHP code that you write is going to go between these two brackets here. Uh, one thing to note too is that you can actually insert PHP within HTML uh, and it should run as well. So uh, let's go ahead and save this file. So if we say file and then we go to save as, when we're running our server environment, you're going to want to save this in the htdocs folder so that we can uh, actually run it on the server and see what the output looks like. So we're going to go to applications in my case. We're going to go down and find mamp and then we're going to uh, click on htdocs and then you can just save your uh, file in here. Uh, for our, our case, we're just going to say index.php and we will click save. All right. So, uh, that's all there is to it to start up writing some PHP. In the next tutorial, we're going to start actually writing some more code. And um, feel free to leave any questions in the comments section below. And thank you for watching.